Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that provide historical context for public policy issues of the 21st century. In the delta of the Orinoco, the thatched hut symbolizes the old way of life. But the new Venezuelan may live in a low-income housing project. If he needs medical care, he has access to hospitals as modern as any on Earth. For the sowing of petroleum has contributed significantly to the welfare of a people. The extension of medical services includes a nationwide anti-mosquito campaign which has almost wiped out malaria, once affecting 48% of the population. Creole assisted the government in starting this program in its camps and the surrounding towns. Compulsory free inoculations attack other diseases. Free chest x-rays are available to fight tuberculosis. There are prenatal clinics throughout the country and free classes in baby care. The pediatric clinic is an accepted part of Venezuelan life. This little fellow will live 10 years longer because the hospitals and the clinics have already added a decade to the life expectancy of every Venezuelan. The old practices still linger on in many places and in many fields. But wherever the new is better, it begins to replace the old. One of the greatest efforts is in industry. For Venezuelans know that their prosperity would be in danger if anything happened to the market for oil. Slowly, Venezuela is building a more diversified economy, sowing the profits from petroleum to develop new enterprises in other fields. <laughs> 